Welcome to an audio recording of Jules Verne's famous 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. This book was originally serialized in French uh, between the years 1869 and 1870. It was translated into English and made its debut in 1872 across the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, and so this is an audio exploration of this book. I've been enjoying reading it so much with my sons that I thought it'd be fun to put together something with a little bit more information about the places that the Nautilus and our heroes, M. Aronax, Conceal, and Ned Land visit, along with their illustrious um, captain and, and villain in this tale, Captain Nemo. And so a little bit of background information here for you to start. And then we'll jump right into the text. This website, julesverne.ca, has a tremendous amount of information about the various editions of the book, especially early editions, some wonderful illustrations. And so I'll be referring uh, to it occasionally, and, and please check this site out. There's an excellent illustration front page of the 1871 French edition. Here is a major map of the Atlantic and Pacific parts of the Nautilus's voyage. Uh, this is in French as well, and we will be visiting a lot of these places, as well as some of the places that are mentioned early on in the tale uh, regarding ships that were sunk by what we find out to be uh, this incredible mechanism. And so I've plotted a few of these initial places in the North Atlantic Ocean. These markers indicate the three places that are mentioned in the beginning of our text. And uh, I will, just to give you an overview of how to read those latitude and longitude um, descriptions, we read, for example, 42 degrees, 35 minutes north latitude. You know, and followed by 37 degrees, 15 minutes west longitude. I'm plotting these points and keeping a log. Uh, and that's something you can do if you're, if you're a homeschooler. This might be a fun task or a, or a fun activity uh, to go through the book and find all these places on the globe. I started out using a globe and with the difficulties of trying to, to film that with my phone, decided to uh, move over here to the, to the laptop and and do screen uh, casting instead. And so these are three points uh, listed in the first chapter of the book. They all take place in the North Atlantic. So for example, 42 degrees, 35 minutes north latitude, 60 degrees, 35 minutes west longitude. And the description of which ships and general location of these places, which you can see all three of these locations a and B are on our side of the Atlantic, that is the North America, and C is over closer to uh, France and Spain. And so we'll be following along with the Nautilus. We'll also be looking at a bit more scientific description, natural history description of the different sea creatures that M. Aronax encounters in his fantastic voyage.